Hey guys, how's it going? DragonX55 here, and today I'm going to be showing off the Dragon Master Knight or Black Luster Fusion deck. Uh, this has been in works for at least three weeks now. Actually, more or less, probably like two weeks. But I think I finally got a decent build. This deck is really like okay. It's not going to win like top ten best decks ever, but. It does work whenever it decides to, so it is pretty powerful if it works. If it doesn't, then, you know, it's just a fun deck, so. Uh, anyways, so to start off, we have three blue eyes white dragons. Uh, basically, it's targets for trade in, made in the white, or was it made with blue eyes? Um, and. You can even use Prisma to dump it. Uh, we play it so we can make Blue Eyes Ultimate, but basically I use it for like more of a draw engine kind of thing. You don't really need to run him, but in this deck I think it's more worthwhile since we're playing trade-ins. Uh, next up we have two Elemental Hero Prismas. Three is a little bit too much, but two is pretty good. So you can target or reveal a fusion monster and then mill out from your deck one of the fusion monsters materials so I hate when it does that okay uh, so one of the materials so we can dump a blue eyes or a black luster soldier uh, so basically it's really good to get the blue eyes in the grave which you usually tend to get, try to do but um, anyway so yeah it helps with that and it gets black luster soldier too uh, you really don't want to dump Blackluster Soldier unless if you have like King of the Swamp or Goddess of the Whim in the hand. And then you can use Polymerization and stuff like that. Or two, th two blue eyes and dump the third one to get Dragon's Mirror or whatever. <laughs> Next up we have Goddess of the Third Eye. Uh, basically anything that substitutes as a fusion material monster is pretty nice. So you can use the Stone of Legend, or you can use this, which either one works. Next up we have King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp, you can discard to get Polymerization, otherwise it counts as a fusion material. So for fusion materials, if you have them in the grave, you use Dragon's Mirror, or if you have them in your hand or field, they still work to make the cards you want to sell. So. Pretty good, pretty good if you're trying to get out your cards. Two Maiden with blue eye, or eyes of blue. Uh, if she's targeted for attack, you can put her in defense to negate the attack and then bring out blue eyes for your hand deck or grave. When a card is activated that targets this card, you can bring out a blue eyes white dragon from the same places. You can only use one Maiden white per turn. Uh, basically, she's a tuner, so you can sync her up into stuff, or you can just use her to stall for a time, so. Either way. Either way, indeed. Um, next, we have Manju. We played two, because sometimes we draw into the Black Cluster Soldier anyway, so there's really no point in running three. Yeah, it could be a little quicker, but we're not running the Ritual, so, you know. You can run three, but I think two would suffice. And if you summon him by normal or flip, you can bring out the Black Luster Soldier to your hand, so helps out with getting materials. We have two Summoner Monks, and basically we run a total of 18 spells, so you discard a spell, you bring out a level 4. If you need another target for a fusion, you can use Goddess. If you have another target and you need like Prisma to dump something, then you can go Prisma, or you can go Manju to, well, actually I don't think Ma you know, Manju doesn't work, but, you know. Then you can go into any of the seeds in the deck, so that'd be pretty good. Uh, and it helps out getting rid of dead spells in your hands anyways, so. Three Black Cluster Soldier, you need to run him, otherwise you basically can't make Dragon Master Knight, so yeah. And he's a level 8, so trade-in works with him too. 
Dark Hole gets rid of every monster in the field. If you want, you try Lightning Vortex. If you want to, like, try to clear your opponent's face up field while you have monsters on the field. So, either way. Uh, sorry. We play three upstart. I haven't found a good alternate to this. If you play upon a duality, you end up getting into the fusions and stuff, and then you can't like special summon, so that's the downside of pod duality. They're shard agreed, but you wait too long. So right now I'm playing upstart. You guys can play something else, but anyways, um this is pretty much my best alternative at the moment. If you guys want to try like Cup of Ace or something, because you guys are luckier than me, go right ahead. <laughs> uh, 3 Dragon Smear, just to speed up getting a fusion card, and you can banish the materials from the grave to special summon Dragon Fusion Monster. 2 Megamorph, you can play 1, probably play like, I don't know, Fusion Sage or something to get Poly quicker. Or even play Gold Sark or something, but we play 2 Megamorph to try to get quicker. And it helps with an OTK if your life points are lower, and doubles your monster's attack. So if like your opponent has 8,000 life points, you have 4,000, and you summon Dragon Master, and you're like, oh well, I can't finish this this turn. Well, then you have Megamorph. You put on Dragon Master, 10,000 attack. There you go. And I don't want that on that. Uh, also, you can use it as a defensive card to lower your opponent's monster's attack if they have less life points than you. Like, let's say they have a blue eyes and you have a prisma. You can use the Megamorph to decrease the monster's attack by half, so you can run it over. So it's pretty good as a defensive maneuver, too. Most likely, you're going to have less life points, so... Yeah, you won't see the defensive side of Megamorph. You have three polymerization. This helps out with any card fusing with any monster in your hand, and pretty much, yeah, that takes care of um, the fusion side of the things. So, dragon's mirror if they're in the grave, and polymerization if they're in the hand. If they're on the field, then dragon's mirror or polymerization helps. But if it's in the grave, you need dragon's mirror. So. You have six kind of fusions, so it helps. It especially is nice when you do polymerization into a Dragon's Mirror, then you have two Dragon Master Knights, which I do sometimes. But I can't always get pull out the play if your opponent... Like, computers are easier to do this to, like, get the Dragon Master Knight out. But if you're battling human players, they usually like to do, like bunch of trap cards so you might want to play more strategically. <laughs> uh, reinforcements of the army uh, lets you add a warrior so we can add Prisma. I don't play e-calls because we only run two of these guys and it's no point. Uh, Silver's Cry is pretty nice. It brings back your blue eyes from your grave. Well, you can bring back any dragon that's normal but in this case it's blue eyes. So. If you use Prisma and then you attack and attack, you're like, oh, well, he doesn't have Mirror Force, so let's cry and finish it off for game. You know. Or if your opponent's attacking you and they have, like, Dark Magician for whatever reason. I know I'm making, like, a bad examples, but just bear with me. Uh, so they bring Dark Magician, try attack, so let's cry, bring out Blue Eyes, and you have a 3,000 beater shield. So... It's pretty nice. It protects you for the turn, and then you can do whatever you need to do next turn. Hopefully. We play three trade-ins, and we're playing five, six level eights. So, the trade-ins are not bad. I recommend three of them because you play enough level eights. And lastly, but not least, we play Royal Decrees. I can play trap stuns or royal decrees, but royal decrees are more efficient. Only downside is that MST is a main thing in this game, so you have to be careful about when you set this because they like to use MST to blow up stuff. And people are kind of scumbags when it comes to traps, so three royal decrees is really needed. 
I played against this one guy where I could have won, but he had so many trap cards that I couldn't get past him, so. Yeah, so Royal Decree is needed. He had like Ordeal, he had Scrap Iron, it was really dumb. And really, if you need to, I would play Back Row Destructions, negate the back rows, you know, all those stuff. Because decks in this game, people just like to run like 50 trap cards and you can't do anything. That's like the original, that's how like the game is now where they play like 50 traps. Some people don't because they like to play normal stuff and just try to go through the deck quickly. But traps are always a thing since Heavy Storm's not allowed or Harpy's Fire Duster. We need to use Royal Decree. <laughs> uh, two Blue Eyes Ultimate. Three is a little too much since you never would are going to bring out three. I only have two because I can bring out one from my hand and I can bring out one from the grave. So if that's the case of me having to do it, then you should play two. Playing one will mean that you can't bring out one from the hand if you have three Blue Eyes in hand. Or a goddess of whim, or a king of the swamp, and two blue eyes, so. Yeah. Also, another thing to keep in mind, if you guys aren't aware, if you have a king of the swamp and goddess of the whim, or, why do I keep calling her goddess of whim? That is a card. Goddess of the third eye. If you have two of these cards in your hand, like, just right next to each other, and you have polymerization, they don't make Dragon Master Knight. You have to have the other correct material. Like, you have to have a Black Luster Soldier in one of these two to make Dragon Master Knight, if you guys are curious. Uh, so we play three Dragon Master Knight, as it is the easiest thing to bring out in this deck. Uh, the only thing you really have to worry about is the trap cards in your opponent's back row, because they do tend to wreck you. Uh, bringing out two of these also makes this 5,500 attack, since this card gains 500 attack for each dragon on the field. And activating Silver's Cry also helps you get 500 attack because of the fact that you have blue eyes. So, you can get a grand total of 6,000 if you're lucky enough, but if you're not, you'll just have a 5,000 beater or a 10,000 attack point beater because you probably have less life points and you have Megamorph. Uh, I usually tend to hold Dark Hole also, by the way, because it makes sure that you can clear the field and wreck your opponent. And usually don't go for Dragon Master Knight if you don't have Royal Decree. Because if your opponent has five trap cards in the back row, anything can get rid of Dragon Master Knight. You might be like, well, why don't I only play Safe Zone? Well, if your opponent doesn't have a monster in the field, Safe Zone prevents you from attacking. So, yeah, that's a pretty down part. But if you are luckier than me, you have no problem. This deck will easily bring out this card if you basically use like King of the Swamp to get polymerizations, fusing, you know, there's so many things that are going through the deck at one time that it's very easy to get out the key cards you need. I always end up like starting with a Black Luster Soldier, a Polymerization, a King of the Swamp, a Dragon's Mirror, and sometimes God is of the third eye or whatever. Like, it's not hard to get the cards you need. It's the hard part of your opponent playing back row. And Royal Decree just solves every single part of that. So you need to try to get Royal Decree. Uh, so, let's see. We have Ally Justice. If you have a level 4 and Maiden, I think he's needed. Or Mighties is 100% needed if your opponent's just going to play the trap game. Where, if you don't know what the trap game is, basically it's I will set five trap cards and have them all do things that just stop you from attacking. So our Mighties basically prevents effects from activating, so it's like, oh, I'm just going to wreck you until you, until I draw a Royal, Royal Decree. So I recommend also going into this as quickly as possible too, so if your opponent decides, oh, I'm going to keep your Dragon Master Knight at bay with Scrap Iron Scarecrow, then you just keep running into it with them with this, so yeah, definitely needed uh, two Azores. This is pretty nice too, and here's many reasons why. First off, this card is easy when you have Blue Eyes and Maiden. Second off, 
Um, this prevents dragon type monsters from being destroyed by card effects or being targeted also. So if you're curious, that does include Blue Eyes Ultimate and it does include Dragon Master Knight. So yeah, that prevents them from being destroyed or targeted for the next until the next turn. End of the next turn, I mean. So basically you have this that can only be destroyed by battle, but realistically nothing is 5,000 attack points. Like, nothing is going to be 5,000 attack points in this game. They're not going to use M7 on you. They're not going to do anything to you if you can get Azor out. And then you can get this card out. Another interesting fact is that this card can bring out a normal monster in your graveyard. Uh, I don't know if this really counts for it. So you can bring out blue eyes. Uh, I doubt blue eyes ultimate counts, so I'm not going to say that. But if you try out the deck and you can bring it out, then hey. Because I know gem knight you can't do anything to, but it's not a normal monster, so. Yeah, I, don't, I think only blue eyes gets a target, but you know, see what you can do. But basically, bringing this out quickly as possible when you have the chance to bring out one of these two is definitely the way to go. If you have like, if you have to wait and stall out while your opponent, like, if you can't bring this out, then our mighty's a good other card to just help you out. Uh, Digesto Emerald helps you bring out Blue Eyes and also lets you basically Pot of Avarice. Uh, one Cowboy to help finish off the game. Two Chains. This lets you get the Blue Eyes in the Grave or the Black Luster Soldier in the Grave. So you can get Dragon Master Knight in the Grave. Or you can choose a monster put on top of your deck if you need, like, personally if you want to. I would be going to Goddess, or King of the Swamp, or even Manju, or Summoner Monk. Uh, Maiden's pretty nice. You know, it's whatever you really need at the moment. Uh, Black Ship, I tried playing without this, and I pretty much couldn't get over Marshmallows. Yeah, I faced like the most stupidest things when I tried to use this deck, like Nurse Burn with two Marshmallows, which was really dumb, and I could have won that duel actually, and I was going to record it and everything, but I lost to a Lava Golem, so I couldn't do anything. But that's when this deck had Black Rose, but you can't really make Black Rose in here. Uh, also, Photon Pally. This card I think is a must. It lets you get your opponent's card into attack mode, and it makes them lose 600 attack, so that like they're playing the defense game. You can um, basically run over them with this for a second. Like, if you personally want to, I know the person who asked for this said no side deck. So if you want to personally, you can take out the Mega Morph and put a Fairy Meteor Crush, and that helps get over the defense cards too. So like you know, it makes it so your opponent is not going to sit there with like Marshmallow in defense because. Oh, lo and behold, I have a 5,000 attack point monster that can attack your defense, and you can't do Jack Diddly Squat. So basically, that's it for the deck. Um, is the same top tier kind of deck? Oh, well, I already went over it. No, it's not going to win every duel, but it does have big chances of winning if you can get what you need quickly enough. Uh, things you need to watch out for in this deck. Since this card deck lacks a lot of back row destruction, you're mostly relying on Azur and Row the Crease, so that can be a downside. The trap cards are really annoying. Um, you never really have to worry about battling, like having to get like stronger attack points to out attack point a monster. Uh, trying to stall for turns is also kind of annoying to do in this deck, so that can be a thing. Uh, this deck is not going to be able to deal with any meta, so... Like, if you draw what you need, then it can deal with the meta. But it's really not going to do it if they get, like, an OTK and just wreck you. 
So this is basically an OTK deck. Either you get the OTK or you don't. That's how OTK decks work. Um, how do I rate this deck? Eh, it's seven out of ten, personally. I usually say eight, but this deck requires a lot of like luck to try to get things. But that's pretty much like any deck, to be honest. Unless you're playing Dragon Rulers or something that's stupidly OP. You know, I played like so many dumb based, like dumb overpowered based decks that just had a bunch of trap cards and got wrecked. But I think you guys will be personally fine. You know, like personally, this is like probably the best build I can get of this kind of deck. So have fun with this deck, guys, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure you leave it in the comments in the section down below. Tell me what you would change. What would you keep? Uh, if you have anything that you would suggest, like any kind of new deck that you want me to try on this, then I will be glad to do it. Anyways, I will catch you guys next time. This is DragoX55 signing out. Have a good day.